Now, on to a new documentary film by Japanese American director. He dissects the issue of Japan's wartime sexual enslavement of women and girls from the viewpoint of scholars and social activists. Our Im Min Sun got a chance to sit down with the film director himself. A new documentary film about the victims of Japan's wartime sex slavery, also known as Comfort Women, takes a different approach compared to other films on the same subject matter. Instead of focusing on testimonies from the victims, the film is composed of a series of interviews from Japanese, South Korean, and foreign scholars and activists compiled over three years. Following the arguments from both sides, the film uncovers the nefarious side of the Japanese neo-nationalists, who sometimes threw personal insult at the victims. Dezaki, who worked five years in Japan as a teacher, became curious as to why Japanese neo-nationalists wanted to whitewash their country's history. That's when he learned about Takashi Uemura, a former Asai Shimun reporter, who received heavy flack for an article he wrote on the issue. I felt very connected to his story because I was bashed also for my uh, videos on racism in Japan. So I was just curious why uh, they wanted to erase this history of the comfort women issue and um, just like they wanted to uh, erase my video. Starting off as a graduate school project, the film was invited to the Busan International Film Festival last year and gained international spotlight. I understood from the very beginning that my background as a Japanese American was a huge factor in making the film. Uh, I don't think I would have gotten a lot of the interviews I got uh, had I not been Japanese American. So the fact that I was a male Japanese American um, really appealed to a lot of people um, in that I was kind of like a third party. So. He explains that knowing the context of the comfort women issue is the key to finding a solution for both Japanese and Koreans and hopes that his film will provide a good introduction to the complicated issue. The film will be released in theaters in Korea on July 25th, but it already screened in Japan since April to surprisingly positive reviews from the public, though Japanese neo-nationalists were not happy with their interviews in the film and even sued the director. Um, people who didn't know about the issue at all are saying that um, they really appreciate that the film was made and uh, that they uh, can understand this issue on a deeper level. So the reception has been really, really good in Japan. It's a positive thing because otherwise if people don't talk about it, people don't know about it, there's no way that um, the situation can change. Regarding the recent trade sanctions adopted by the Abe government in protest of the forced labor issue, the director expressed his deep regret. He said human rights issues should not be dealt with in such manner, at least not in the manner currently being shown by the Japanese government. However, just as the director hopes, a constructive discussion seems to be taking place already. Tokyo University has invited students from Seoul to watch the film together and have a discussion in August. The director will also go on a tour of universities in the United States in September and October to present the film to wider groups of audiences. Imin Sun, Arirang News.